song Son of Heaven by Brandon Lake is a slower worship song that has a lot of heavy tom grooves. So we're going to concentrate on making sure that those tom patterns are solid because some of them are trickier than they seem. All right, so grab your sticks, watch the music video, let's get to it. The chorus Tom grooves go like this. Okay, so the first time we hear this full kit Tom groove is in the second chorus, okay? And I kind of like that it's an extension of the hits we had on the tom, right? One, a two. Now we've kind of expanded that into a full groove around the kit. One, a two, and three, e, a four, and a one, right? And so let's break down those uh, tom rhythms and see exactly where they land, okay? So the first thing is we have kick on all fours, okay? One, two, three, four. And the first time we play this groove, we only have snare on four, okay? The second time around, we add it on beat two. The first time, just beat four. So let's take a look at that pattern, okay? So I'll play it on just the floor tom and then kind of show you orchestration, okay? There's like one high tom hit that repeats, but we'll look at the rhythms here. So on the floor tom, we have one, a uh, two, and three, e, a uh, four, and a, uh, okay? And four would be on the snare. One, a uh, two, and three, e, a uh, four and a uh, one, a uh, two and three e, a uh, four and a uh, one, okay? And so you could obviously orchestrate that however you want, okay, that makes musical sense to you between the toms. The one kind of repetitive pattern that I heard a bunch is one, a uh, two and three e, a uh, four and a uh, one, a uh, two and three e, a uh, four and a uh, one. So playing the uh on the high top, okay? One, uh, two, and. Then when we add the snare on beat two, okay, still with kick on all fours, one, uh, two, and. Okay, you could play the and of two up there. One, uh, two, and. Three, E, uh, four, and uh, one. Uh, two, and. Three, E, uh, four, and uh, one. And so that pattern, again, you can orchestrate around the toms as you like. Just some things to be careful of when you've got to play the backbeat, make sure you don't like get crossed over, okay, with which tom you're playing and which hand has to go away. It's kind of easy to do that. And also a groove like this, I actually had to rehearse this one the most, okay, to get it tight. You've got kick, snare, and toms all happening, and there's like some spaces in between those syncopations. It's very easy to kind of let it get a little too loose and everything's flamming in a bad way, okay? So this one I would say just make sure that you can get it at, again as tight as you can, okay, as tight as humanly possible. And so one, uh, two, and three, e, uh, four, and uh, one, so that it comes out nice and clean. Let me play it for you slowly, here we go. So practice that along with the loops and let's go to our next section. <laughs> 